Hello, Connections and Separation Collective, and welcome back, Pisces. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on the mutual energy between you and your significant other in this connection and separation. For others of you, this is a long-distance relationship. I'm also going to be channeling messages focusing on the mutual strength right now at this moment in time, as well as the mutual obstacles, challenges, or blockages that may be present. I'm also going to be channeling how you guys can overcome these challenges together as a couple. And last but not least, the mindset that you need in order to continue to strengthen uh, your connection. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that we can continue together here on the Lexa Tarot channel. All right, so let's take a look here, Pisces. What is the mutual energy between you and your significant other? Now, some of you are in the beginning stages of this connection and separation. Others of you are seasoned couples. Others of you are married. So wherever you may fall within those three uh, groups there, this message is for you. And mutual energy, we have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. What I'm feeling here, and I'm just going to show you there, the picture. I mean, what, what I feel here is that there is this tug of war happening here between you and your significant other. Okay. In this connection and separation. And for some of you, this is a long distance relationship. For some of you, I feel that there is a kind of like a, a push and pull here, maybe uh, being a two sides of the spectrum, maybe two sides of a discussion. One person is deadlock in one area. The other one is deadlock in the other. And then there's this kind of like pulling, uh, you know, think about this my my way or see it in my way. And the other person is like, no, see it in my way. So there could be this type of uh, push and pull here happening energetically. Uh, for others of you, this can be, um, what I'm picking up is I'm hearing pride, ego, stubbornness. Okay. So for some of you, this is exactly what it may be. And it's interesting as I saw uh, the Leo, uh, the, the, the lion in Leo, this is not a Leo card. This is an Aries card, but I, I got a glimpse of that. So that tells me here that there may be um, issues here in regards to this tug of war that's happening between you and your significant other, maybe having to do with uh, issues of pride or being stubborn or uh, letting the ego get in the way of uh, trying to, to, to build a more cohesive connection. Okay. So I feel here that there is that kind of push and pull here happening um, in the mutual energy. Now let's take a look here at what mutual strength now, before I go over here, I'm being called again over here. So pardon uh, Pisces if this goes a little bit over. But what I'm feeling here is that for some of you, this energy may be exterior. So there may be external situations that may be pulling uh, you guys to other things. For example, individually, maybe there's something that's pulling you in a certain direction, Pisces, maybe having to do with work, with family, with responsibilities or vice versa. This could be happening to your uh, significant other. So that's what I'm feeling individually. Together as a couple, for others of you, there may be this tug of war of um, not really coming to a full compromise here, or uh, this energy that's kind of like the energy of like ego and pride getting in the way of being able to resolve something. Okay. So just wanted to clarify that for you guys before I go to the next one. So mutual strength here for Pisces and their significant other. What's going on here as far as the mutual strength, we have the three of cups, you guys. Wow. You have three of cups and you have the high priestess. So this is telling me you guys are intuitively connected with one another, despite the fact, and this is beautiful because you have the high priestess really looking at this three of cups. So what I feel here is your strength within your connection is no matter how far apart you may be physically, 
energetically, there is this bond, there's this intuitive communication between you, Pisces, and your significant other in this connection and separation, and vice versa. Okay. And that's what uh, I feel here is one of the biggest strengths here within this connection. Another one here is, of course, the Three of Cups. And if you know anything about the Three of Cups, it's about reconciliation, reunion, but also friendship. So let me give you uh, what's coming in. So as far as friendship is concerned, I feel here that there is a, uh, a bond here, okay, Pisces, between you and your significant other and both of you as a couple. So there's this bond of friendship, feeling comfortable with each other, um, you know, and really coming from that place or that foundation of friendship, all right? So that is a beautiful strength. Another one here that I'm picking up as well with the Three of Cups is this energy of really always trying to make it better. So if there's a disagreement or there's a discussion or there's an argument, there's this feeling here of either you Pisces or your significant other, or both of you as a couple realizing it's time to fix this. It's time for us to work together as a team, as opposed to uh, really kind of be at, at the ends of the spectrums when it comes to having a disagreement, okay? Or when it comes into making decisions, that's another one, right? So there could be here some decisions or things that are, or, or external factors here that need to be taken into account. But you guys realize that working together is way, uh, you know, more important than really kind of battling on the opposite ends of the spectrum. Now, let me read to you what this uh, uh, Three of Cups says in regards to the strength. It says, we embrace joyful opportunities. Now, I do know that that is in singular, but remember, this is the mutual strength. So I did change that to the plural. It says, our intuition guides to the truth. So no matter how much you guys may at times feel like there is a little bit of friction or whenever the friction appears, there is the sense here that you guys are aware that working together is the key here to strengthening and continuing to strengthen your relationship. Okay. Um, let's take a look at one more card here. So Pisces, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button, please do so now so you guys can be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And pardon if this goes a little bit over, okay? So anyway, so you have you guys have caution. So there's this sense of really taking your time to build here together as a couple. And that is a strength that both of you share uh, with each other within this connection. So being cautious, not with each other, but as much, that's not how I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. That's not how I'm channeling this message. It's more of you guys really thinking about and, uh, taking like calculated risks in order to move forward. It's like, you're not in the rush to hurry up and do something. It's more of let's take our time so that we can build something that will last or uh, create more foundation in our connection. But there's this kind of like slowly but surely energy uh, that I'm picking up here. All right, let's take a look at the obstacles, challenges, or blockages that you may be experiencing right now at this moment in time. Guys, as I told you before, this is a timeless reading. So let's see. It says, I won't cry for you. Okay. Now I feel here that the blockage is not that you're not crying for the other person. Okay. Um, or that you are, it's more about the missing. There's this sense that the blockage here sometimes, or the obstacle or the challenge is that there's a lot of, I miss my partner. I wish my partner was here. This desire, yearning, and longing to be together. And the reason why it's showing up as a as an obstacle, it could be one or two things. Okay. So first message that I'm getting is that there is a lot of sadness associated to the distance and wherever the mind goes, energy flows. So if you and your significant other are only focusing on the fact that you guys aren't together, it's, it's this energy of not really going into a higher vibration uh, resonance. It's more going into the lower vibrational resonance, resonance, right? And so what I'm picking up here is that there's this sense of keeping the mind stuck to what isn't here or what isn't happening. Okay. So that's one of the things uh, that I'm picking up. Another message that I'm picking up here is I won't cry for you is that there's this sense here of either you Pisces or your significant other, or both of you as a couple repressing the feelings uh, of 
you know, the yearning, the longing and the desiring so much so that it's causing some type of, uh, mental, uh, restlessness. Okay. At times for some of you, you may even uh, find yourself kind of like in a way, uh, this pain and this, uh, longing, right. Uh, of missing each other, uh, kind of like I'm, I'm getting like issues with sleeping or it happens at nighttime, or there's this sense of not having a restful night's sleep here. Okay. So that's what I'm picking up here also as a uh, blockage challenge or obstacle. Okay. Now let's take a look at how both of you as a couple can overcome these uh, challenges. Okay. How can Pisces and their significant other overcome these challenges? All right, serendipity. Look at the sign symbol synchronicities. Look at the opportunities to bring your you both of you together in any moment in time. And what do I mean by that? So, okay, you guys can't see each other physically, right? You also have Treasure Island. I'll talk about that in a minute. You guys can't see your uh, uh, touch each other physically um, on a day to day basis, but you can video chat. For some of you, that's possible. You can send emails. You can send messages to each other. You can send packages to each other. So there's this um, type of connection or work that needs to be put in or effort that needs to be put in in order to remain in contact with one another. And sometimes there may be some just like random opportunities, okay? For, for some of you, uh, maybe your partner is in the military and you can't reach them whenever you like, but there are, um, or other job or careers that they may be that they're not easy to access either they or you Pisces. So this is saying like, take whatever opportunity comes your way in order to expand and build, you know, during those moments, right? During those moments, kind of like fate throws you, uh, an opportunity, try to grab it and make the most out of it as well. All right. So that's really thinking about being hopeful, right? So this is higher vibration resonance, thinking about the things that you can do for each other. How can we remain connected? This is looking at all the pluses, and this is how you can overcome that obstacle or challenge. You also have here as a couple treasure Island. And what I feel here is that continue to think about the dreams, the goals, the mindset, higher vibrational energy. Now, turtle is not a mistake that it's here. There's a reason why the turtle is here. And that has a lot to do with longevity. Now the turtle is not the fastest moving, uh, is not the fastest moving animal, right? However, it's in it for the long run. And remember that I was talking to you guys earlier about this caution card. So easy, steady pace is going to bring the rewards that you guys are looking for towards or looking for in regards to your connection and separation. Beautiful message there. Let's take a look at the mindset because believe it or not, guys, mindset is one of the most important things here in, in anything in life because wherever the mind goes, energy flows. So wherever your mind as a couple is going towards, if it's going towards uh, you know, the finish line, the goal, how can we work together? Let's, you know, really uh, grab those opportunities that life, fate, and the universe is throwing in our direction. Then you are in a higher vibration resonance and your mind is now thinking positive thoughts. So let's see how else you can uh, help uh, strengthen this connection and separation. Okay, let's take a look here. Mindset. The mindset here, it says, we trust in ourselves to make the right choices. So making great decisions, making good decisions, figuring out what future decisions you guys want to make and the process of staying positive and really focusing that as your goal. Pisces, I hope these messages were insightful. Please click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.